Hello everyone. In this particular video, we are going to discuss the question number 39 of GATE DA23 exam. Okay. So, this is the question given to us. Consider the function compute s whose pseudocode is given below. So, this is basically a pseudocode. It is not in any programming language. Simple pseudocode logic is given to us. Okay. So, this is the function. Right, so we already discussed how to define a function in Python, what is list, how if statement work, and how for loop work. That is enough to solve this type of question. Okay. Now here we have computes x. Now x will be taken as the input to this particular function. Now what is x? X is given to us here, right? So the question is which one of the following values is written by the function compute x for x equals to this. Now if you observe s of this arrow 1. Now, what this particular thing indicates? Now, here S is which is basically a list. Now, here if you observe S, right, then we have a right arrow, then we have 1. It means that we are assigning the value 1 to this particular S of 1, right? Now, what is S of 1 is? That is basically a list. We have a list S which is basically initially empty, right? And now we are saying s of 1 is equals to 1. So whenever this particular arrow you can see, we can consider it as equals to sign. And this is basically assigning operator, a sign operator in Python, right? So, so this left arrow indicate I'm assigning this particular value to this particular uh, s, right? s of 1. Now it is equivalent to equal to sign in Python, right? Now if I say s of 1 equals to 1, i arrow is 2 so basically i equals to 2 right so here i equals to 2 again s of i equals to 1 again here s of i equals to this one right now if we know how for loop works and how if a uh, statement works then we can easily solve uh, this type of question okay so the first thing is s of 1 so initially the list is empty and Remember one important point here the pseudocode is mentioned, not Python or not any programming language. So, in Python, we generally have the index value from 0, but here we have to consider that is the first value in the particular list. So, first value in this list is basically 1. So, s equals to 1 here, right? Now, for i equals to 2 to length of x. Now, what is this length of x? So, we have discussed that length of x will give the number of element in the list. So, length function will give number of element or item in list. Now, what is x here? This is x. How many elements are there? 5. So, this will be 5. So, for this particular for loop, I am iterating from i equals to 2 to 5, right? For loop. Now, what is the value of i for the first iteration? 2. Now, we have we have gone through this line, now this line, now the value of i is 2 for the first iteration. So, it means that s of 2 is basically 1. So, second element in the list is basically 1. So, 1 comma 1 like this, right? Now, we have a if statement, if x of i minus 1. So, what is x here? This particular list. And what is i here? i 2. If 2 minus 1 is basically 1. So, if x of 1 is less than or equals to x of 2, right? Then only we need to update this particular s because the value of i is 1 here, right? Now, if you observe x of 1 is basically what? 6 here or less than or equal to 3. No, which is not correct. Which is not correct, right? So, this is false. We are not going to execute this particular thing because this condition is false, right? Unless this condition is true, we cannot execute the block inside the if statement, right? Inside the if uh, block, right? So, we are going to end if, then go for a next iteration. In the next iteration, the value of i will be 3 because i equals to 2. So, for loop will iterate over a sequence. So, here sequence is from 2 to 5, right? So, that is basically a range in Python 2 to 5. Now, the value of i will become 3. Now, same thing, right? s of 3 is equals to 1. My third element in the list, that is s of 3 in the 1, right? Right? So, s of 3 is equals to 1. So, s of 3 is basically equals to 1. That is basically the third 
value in the list is also one here right so this will get update to this one comma one comma one like this now again if i minus one the value of i is three now right so three minus one is two if x of two is less than equals to x of three then we need to update the s of three right now here x of two is basically three and three is basically a five now this three is less than five now this particular condition is true now if this is true we are going to update this particular thing now what is this s of i so what is the value of i three right so we are in the third we are in the second iteration that is basically i equals to three now s of three is basically this one so s of three is s of three plus s of i minus one i minus one is three so three minus one is basically two s of two so s of three is basically one and two is basically one so third element in the list s is one and the second element in the list s is also one so one plus one is equals to two so we need to update this particular list to one comma one comma two because the third element in this particular list s got updated to two right now go for the next iteration now the value is i equals to four now what will happen here i equals to four again s of four again s of four is basically equals to one so fourth element in the list is basically equals to one so i'm writing it here as equals to one comma one comma two comma one right now again if block if x of four so, so the value of i is four so x of three is less than x of four let us check the third element in the list is five and the fourth element in the list is four so five is not less than four so this condition is false so we are not going to update the fourth element in the list then we'll go for a next iteration that is basically i equals to five right now s of five is equals to one so fifth element in the list is also equals to one so one comma one comma two comma one comma one like this now what about if condition so x of i minus one that is basically five minus one is four is less than or equals to x of 5 we need to check that so fourth element in the so fourth element in the list is 4 and the fifth element is 10 right so this condition is true if this is true then we are going to update the value of s of i now what is the value of s of i s of i is basically a i is basically a 5 so we need to update so s of fifth element plus s minus 1 so s of 4 so what is fifth element here 1 what is fourth element one so one plus one is basically two so the fifth element in the list s will get updated to two so final list will be one comma one comma two comma one comma two so that is basically option number c so option c is correct here right so in this way you need to proceed this particular code okay so this is pseudo code not in any programming language if you understand how if block work how for loop work that's it right so that is only we are checking in this particular question right so i will try to add this type of question in test series you can uh, try to attempt that because this is a pseudo code we can expect one this type of question in the next exam also so i will try to add this type of question in the test series so you can have a practice on that okay and if you want me to continue this particular series of previous year gate da solution please hit the like button and subscribe to my youtube channel okay so that's it from this particular video thank you